have things been? Uh, it's uh, going good. I mean, I've just been like trying to study, which I'm not doing so much, or, like doing very good of these days because of what's been going on. So, but I'm just like taking it one day at a time. Yeah, of course. That's all, <laughs> that's all you can do. And the LSAT in general anyway is a marathon, not a sprint. And so yeah. a week here, a week there where you're not able to get that much done for whatever reason current mm-hmm. events, certainly an understandable one, then just be compassionate with yourself, give yourself the time you need, and then okay. get back to it when you can. I, the only thing I would say is try not to let several days go by without doing anything because oh, okay. it's also important to keep your momentum going. Oh, okay. but e- even just one question a day, even just five minutes a day to keep the LSAT as part of your life mm-hmm. can, can help you to avoid feeling rusty and to make it easier to increase that studying when you feel able to. Mm, okay. Okay. Cool. All right. So, so what's going on for you today? What's your biggest LSAT challenge or admissions challenge that I could help with? Uh, well, I, I guess like my LSAT challenge is like making sure I get the right score, like a, the, a score that will, will get me into a very good law school. So, um, so right now I'm like, I'm trying to, I've been doing a lot of the logic games for the past few days. I did some yesterday. So I'm trying to get used to understanding it and loving it, like you say, in your blogs. So, but that's like one of my biggest LSAT challenges. Like, the, like, will I be able to get, understand what I'm studying before I take it in November? Like, I'm just, you know, worried, but trying not to, to be worried also. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, I hear what you're saying. Yeah, any any specific areas giving you trouble? Uh the um I know like the logic games uh I've been doing um I did the uh, the pretest 64 or 70 yesterday and when I was doing it, it's like uh, they have when I'm reading the questions and reading the, the passages and then looking at the rules to draw the Diagram is like there are some of them I didn't know how I was supposed to draw the diagram. Like um, I'm used, I was used to doing it like the way you showed it in one of your uh, blogs with the with the A A is before B and you do the the what they call it? like the thing. Um, no, like, just drawing lines to reflect. Yeah, before drawing after. lines. Yeah. Yeah. So I was trying to do that. But I was like, no, it doesn't fit this question. So it's like I always have to figure out what diagram that will fit the question I'm answering. So I was having issue like uh, answering the questions, and then it got to a point where I I didn't do so well. Like when I chose the answer, I thought that was the answer, but I kind of like was discouraged a little bit. So I don't know, that's like my struggle right now. It's like understanding how to, you know, answer the questions. And like when I read the passage and it gives you the rules, then it tells you like, um, it gives you like maybe um, the rules for like maybe five of the subjects on that uh, um, question, but, but there are six of them. So like, okay, where does the sixth one go to? So it's, I don't know, that's like my problem right now. So I hear you. It's a process. It's a process to get familiar with this. It's Mm -hmm. like a foreign language. And so Mm -hmm. the foreign language and learning any foreign language is like the the broad picture. And then there's like the hyper specifics. Like if I call a cup a mug when -hmm. it's really just a cup, Mm -hmm. I've got the general idea. Yeah. Like, so if I'm learning a foreign language and like, I'm trying to do that in Japanese, like I got to give myself, cut myself a break. You know, it's like, yeah. got, if you yeah. get the general idea, that's yeah. good enough as a broad overview. It may not be okay. precise. It may not be perfect, but you've yeah. got the gist of it and you can get more specific as you need to. And so at least if you've got okay. that, it's an ordering game, whether mm-hmm. you're drawing slots or whether you're drawing lines to connect the variables to reflect yeah. the before or after, like relative mm-hmm. versus strict. Mm-hmm. It doesn't have to be perfect. As long as you're okay. getting enough of what you need to mm-hmm. represent the rules to get you through the game, later mm-hmm. you look at a video explanation or a written one and you see, okay, well, it was actually best diagrammed in a relative style. I mm-hmm. did it in a strict style. Oh, okay. If that's the position that you're taking, then 
at least you know, okay, well, next time you'll know to do it differently. Mm, okay. Okay, cool. It's a process of just generally familiarizing yourself through your exposure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. I remember that. <laughs> and also, the more the more you that. do, the more you do, the easier yeah. it'll get. So there's yeah. nearly there's nearly 400 games out there, and wow. if you're, just, if you're just getting into it, and you've done like yeah. five of of one type. It's mm-hmm. not nearly enough to get a sense of it. You don't need to do all mm-hmm. 400, of course, but okay. If you do 20 ordering games. You'll have mm-hmm. a much better sense than if you only did five. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. And there's yeah, a lot I just of- keep, I just keep working on it. Then sorry. No, it's fine. Yeah, just yeah. just keep at it. Just keep working on it. I've okay. got categorizations in the schedule, and then I have many more on the site. So if you mm-hmm. want to, you could start off with the ones in the schedule, and then mm-hmm. if you want to go back and do some of the older ones, like from a couple of years prior, that'll at least give you more practice if you want it in a particular area. Mm, okay all right so that could be a one thing a good thing for you just like one game a day like one game a day to start with if that's what you have time for if that's what you have energy for at least mm-hmm. that'll keep you fresh and you could keep working through the list of ordering games if that's where you're at mm-hmm. and then you ramp up when you can okay okay cool. uh, i was gonna ask a question um the uh i noticed um the schedule i know it's like every like you give us it has everything to do for each day of the week so what if like um i'm supposed to be working on the third week right now but because of stuff going on i've not been able to finish the second week so uh does it mean that since i'm in the third week i just have to you know pause where i'm at on the second week and jump into the third week I wouldn't jump ahead. The schedule is really important for the level of specificity about what to do in a particular order. And so mm-hmm. it's like you, you can't skip a category of logic games and never learn those. It's a fundamental part of yeah. building your foundation. So I would say okay. work through the schedule in the order given. Yeah, you could be behind right now. A lot of people fall mm-hmm. behind just because things come up. It's totally normal for that to happen. Mm-hmm. And what you can do if you fall behind is... Mm-hmm catch up later by doing a little bit more than one day of work each day. So you could do like 110% of what's listed there by moving ahead slowly. I wouldn't try to do three weeks worth of work in one week if you fell that far behind. That's too much. You don't want to burn out. But gradually catch up later when you can. And then you you might find there's a certain area of the exam where you don't need to do all the practice problems listed. You could do fewer and that mm-hmm. would let you save some time. So the way you catch up is you do more work per day than is scheduled. And then you could also cut a little bit of the, some examples from each category. Those are two different ways to handle it. If you fall really far behind, I would say you might want to postpone your test date. But hopefully okay. you won't need to do that. You'll see mm-hmm. what happens going forward. But a lot of people do also just based on life happening. You know, so don't ever skip portions of the schedule altogether, though, because they're fundamental concepts that are covered on the exam. Okay. Okay. All right. I was just making sure I don't, I don't want to like skip anything because looking at it, I'm like, they're all important. I don't want to skip any. So I was just thinking like, since it's the third week, like, will it affect anything? But I'll just keep, keep try uh, catching up. So it's a process, but. You're doing everything you can and everything you should. So just keep moving forward through the schedule. And if you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out. Okay. Okay. I'll do that. that. Awesome, Jennifer. Well, you have a good one. Stay safe and be in touch. I'll see you in class soon. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.